if you'd have told me that I'd be where I'm at whenever I was, you know, 10 years old, 12 years old, <laughs> I wouldn't have believed you. You know, because I didn't know that, like, things were like this were possible. Life's a struggle every day, you know, and to see the things that I had to struggle, the stuff that I have to push through, maybe somebody in life might say, wait a minute, okay, I don't have to get in there and get beat up physically and mentally every day. My life isn't that bad. Does that make sense? I can push through this. How can I push through this? That's why I'm hoping this sort of film will show some of that. Yeah, after breakfast, 2.10. I'm usually 2.13 after breakfast. So I'm actually pretty happy. I'm starting to drink my water now. Ugh. Here we go, sick of water. I'm all ready. I just started it today. <laughs> Dude, water is the most valuable thing on this planet. Hey, tea, man. Those are you, you need water to make it? That is true. Can you hold it? Fine, sir. It might be the first to ever get it on film. Yeah. Uh -oh, so I've got two, two, 208. Yeah. Okay, you missed your shot. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be quick. I don't do that crap very often. Yeah, about 208. Because see how you, if you keep it moving, your body's always gonna react, and you don't want to keep it still. Because if you keep it still, and then all of a sudden it moves, your body might overreact. So you've got to keep just oh, keep it moving. Oh man, that's like two minutes. Oh, oh damn, that one sucked. Woo. Luckily, I was able to turn, so I didn't crush my back. So I would have fell right on my, my tailbone. I may have been paralyzed. Oh, shit. I kind of You definitely got that on camera, didn't you? <laughs>
how like on chokes and stuff, I'll yeah. let it until it gets almost like everything will shut off. And then I'll tap. So like literally there's been times that it's gotten like you're you can't see nothing but you can hear it. And then you're like, I know I have like a second or two <laughs> to be like tap or you're out. You know what I mean? Yeah. So as soon as everything goes dim and then it's time to, yeah, it's time to tap. So what will happen is, usually in that instance though, as soon as you start going dim, if you do one last ditch effort, they, and then all of a sudden you relax, people, cause like what I'll do is, like for example, they're choking me, I'll do something and then all of a sudden I'll go, I'll act like I'm got, I got a good breath of air. You know, I'll be like, Kah. and then they'll, they'll try to re-grip, uh, re you know, cause they're like, oh crap, I don't have it. And try to regret, and then you're like, <laughs> this comes back, it comes back quick. I drive an F350, and uh, it's the biggest truck on Team Takedown, pretty much. And well, the guy goes, the guy goes, oh man, that's like buying, a, that's like driving a big rig, because I put a big ranch hand bumper on the front and back. So it's pretty much a one-ton tank, <laughs> uh, and the guy's like, "Oh man, that's like a big rig." And my coach always said I hit like a mad truck, so sort of stuck Johnny Big Rig Hendricks, who hits like a mad truck, you know. And that's sort of what I wanted. Is I didn't want to, you know. I, I said I, there's no reason to give a nickname to a guy who's not in the top, you know, a certain tier, um, and. Uh, I wanted to earn it, not be given it. Make sense? And so I always denied a nickname, denied it, denied it until I couldn't deny it no more. We met a guy out there that the first time being at church for a long time. You know what I mean? Because he wanted to come and see me. Well, if he comes and sees me and he likes the preacher, well now he starts coming to church. Even if it's once every other week or once a month, we're starting a pattern, you know what I mean? And, and so, I like that. It's my first fight in WEC. Uh, Mark Lynn was like, hey, why don't you, uh, why don't you, grow, you know, I, I just decided not to shave because why don't you grow out your beard? You got a good one, don't shave it. I was like, no, I'm gonna shave it. So he ended up talking me into not shaving for the fight. And then everybody sort of liked the beard. Cause there's only one other guy that did that, Evan Tanner. Uh, he was really the only one that had the beard. And then uh, we went, and right, the sword just went with it. And then it started, you know, every fight, the beard, was sort of my trademark. Now, if you people don't know who I am without it, <laughs> so now I got to grow it out every time, which I don't mind. Uh, key players, of course, my coaches, uh, you know, Tony here, Mark, Steven, Adrian, uh, and then you got the training partners, Chris Fies for Zach, we brought in a guy, Kamaru, uh, for a while, um, and, you know, it's funny, my wife, you know, she's a key opponent into this, too. Woke up at two, 194 this morning. Uh, and I am almost two weeks out. Tomorrow will be two weeks. You know, uh, it's not very, very long away. Thank goodness. So I'm, I'm, I'm sort of excited that it's only, you know, a couple, couple weeks away. Uh, like I said, there's still a little bit of stuff that I need to work on, make better. And I know I'm ready for the fight. If the fight was tomorrow, I'd be, <laughs> I'm gonna be 100% ready. I haven't thought about GSP until people talk to me. You know what I mean? I don't care. Nothing that he does or says. 
and it's gonna affect me. Nothing he can do is gonna change the outcome right now. You know, it all matters November, uh, November 16th. That's it. has obstacles in their lives you know there's no difference the only thing is is that I got a set date from my obstacle you know what I mean yours everybody else's everybody who has a regular job they don't know what that what life brings them they don't know when their testing their their moment of truth is there you know what I mean so it's harder for them to identify hey this or this you know which way to go where I have that set date, I have control for the net, that four months or that three and a half months to control my destiny. My eyes is that I have to prove myself to everybody. So I have a lot of pressure on me. GSP, if he goes out there and does his normal five round fight, everybody's gonna be like, oh, yeah, he did it again, cool. You know what I mean, but if I go out there and I beat him, everybody's gonna be like, oh my gosh. You know what I mean, so I do have all the pressure and everybody's sort of betting for me to win, you know, so. Yeah, it's, it's all there. Um, it's just, dude, do you, do you let it bother you or do you just say, like, I don't know, I'm more the guy that likes to grab the bull by the horns and move the bull, not just hang on. Core cardio, but easy on the muscles and joints. Uh, <coughs> now, now it's not about, now it's about maintaining. <clears throat> I might get a little bit more cardio in the next couple days, but not much. So now it's about staying healthy. We did all the hard stuff for the last three months. And now it's about making sure we get there and heal up as much as possible. You know, am I going to be another number or am I going to actually stop it? You know what I'm saying? And that's what, that's what makes me excited about this is you don't know. You know, he doesn't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, the thing we know is going to happen, we're going to be in there. And I can't wait for that moment. <laughs> you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, but other than that, he's been a good champion. Uh, I just want it to be my turn. You know what I mean? I want the fans to be cheering my name louder than anybody else's. I want those things. You know what I mean? I want people to to want to fight me because I, I carry that thing around to every press conference. That you know, that's been my dream and that's my goal. My daughter, there's my other daughter, this is Weston, that's his hey. son. I'm one of my friends. Hey guys. You <laughs> have to take my picture. So like all my stuff's personalized? Oh, yeah. yeah, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, In the back? Uh, the back? I saw, I saw oh, yeah. The back is just... Like the beard. Uh, this is, I think this is our the one that we made, but Reebok made me one too. And uh, the one that uh, 
all my stuff's at the, uh, in my, it's already, Adrian's got it, so I don't have any of my Reebok shirts. But this is something that Reebok is, they, they made us one, so I like it. The thing that I miss the most whenever I leave is waking up to my girls. You know, this camp has been pretty tough, but that's what I love the most is uh, whenever I wake up, I know they're here. And not only that, but whenever I'm here, I know I can keep the fort safe. I can keep the, everybody happy. Um, and everything's going to go smooth. Yeah. Hey, baby. I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah. You ready to pick up Mama? Yeah. You can sit in the car with them. We don't have to Yeah, bye. Love you. See you in a couple days, okay? Alright, love you. Once I hug my wife and I hand her that belt and I hand that to my kids and say, this is for you guys. I think that's what's gonna change. That's whenever I'll be able to let myself go and be happy and satisfied. set up a retirement fund until they hit 40. Yeah, you know I mean, or if I retire at 35, now I'm gonna set it up until they're 35. And if they don't go out there and get a college education and work hard for their own, then they don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you know, I bet I, I'm probably not gonna do that, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna threaten that with them. Don't like other people sweat. I leaned over today and I saw six abs. Leaned over. So look, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey there. <laughs> but I gotta lean over a little bit. <laughs> I was like, how the hell are you holding that up? I didn't see that third leg. If you weren't looking for you, you'd be like, that guy's pretty damn strong, just holding the camera like this, steady as can be. I was like, woo. Hey, hey you're not the first person that says they haven't seen my third leg. <laughs> uh, I won't be the last either, I promise. Let's go body ripping time. So how many? 30 seconds. 